there's been a lot of speculation as to why Henry Cavill is departing The Witcher. A lot of people put the blame on him, like it's some something that he did on set's fault or his a, a behavior toward other people. I don't think so, and he, Don here doesn't think so. We no. think it was completely Henry Cavill's decision, and what clued us into this fact, this 100% guaranteed fact, is <laughs> Season 3, Episode 4 of The Witcher, not even the whole episode, although it is all bad. There's one scene in particular. Henry Cavill is the shining, gleaming little light atop this really really terrible show of a tree right. and or terrible tree of a show that's probably what it is <laughs> yeah, yeah. either way there's a scene on the boat siri and Geralt are on here going monster hunting like we love to see it's one of the few things about the witcher that we like the combat scenes are actually pretty well done most of the time especially monster hunting we like to see that it's true to the witcher's nature uh and there's a random minority <laughs> gang of misfits, a rival musical gang to Jaskier, one of the worst aspects of this show, who break out into song. Are we watching Glee here, Don Boy? Yeah, I, if we're watching Glee, then uh, we're getting an accurate depiction of this. But it's not The Witcher, I know that, right? Because, yeah, like you said, it, they, they come in pitch perfect Glee, like, uh, like whatever they're harmonizing <laughs> yes. with each other. I'm like, dude, what is – I immediately – and I'm, I'm just cringing watching this and it'll be over in a couple seconds minutes maybe god willing right minutes maybe you have to be thinking henry cavill on set with all of the little changes they made in season one and two and they, these are just minor little changes that change about the characters this must have been the straw that broke his back where he goes you know f this i don't want any part of it you guys <laughs> clearly don't care about any of the source material you're just here to like have fun and mostly make fun of the fans here and just kind of make yourself tickle yourself that's exactly part, what right? it is. Yes, yes. And you know, it, it's a this could have been a badass moment. This whole sequence, like, oh dude, yeah, time to for Geralt to do his thing, you know, pill up, get those black eyes. He's crazy, man. He's unhinged. But no, he's just kind of like wrong about how competent Siri is. Like, oh, Siri's gonna do her thing now instead. And we don't need to see Geralt be badass. Dude, Henry Cavill is a big like fan of the Witcher series. He is, he's a big fan of the Witcher. And I mean, obviously, you know, uh, what what Warhammer as well. He's a big fan of these shows. So it really sucks. I think it's like I'm insulted on his behalf that he has to go through this. And honestly, Witcher season one, even though it wasn't a perfect show, it built Geralt up to be this cool character that everybody likes. And I'm sure Henry Cavill was very appreciative of that. He put his his like acting chops and whatever into it. He was actually passionate about it. And now they're just kind of saying, you know, screw you, dude. We don't care about your passion in season three. They give yeah. it something like this. You know what the worst part about it is, too? It's not even just that it's cringe because it's like singing like this. Dude, it's not any sort of genre or style or sound that's appropriate with this era. Like, if yeah, think of Game of I Thrones or Lord of the Rings. You mentioned this to me before. Imagine this type of thing being in there. I bet you if it was, even though it would be out of place, if they did it in Game of Thrones, I bet you it would still be more, like, era appropriate. They'd try to tone it down make it a little more folksy. Yeah, they'd make it more folksy. They would have there, there's a way they were doing the humor in Game of Thrones that's way more appropriate uh, than like this low brow uh, humor. Like it, this, the same. I don't know if the showrunner worked on Blood Origin, but you know when uh, uh, how do you say oh, his the, name? The lark. Yeah, scare, yeah oh, when the oh, lark. Just <laughs> yeah, just he scare. just dr drops like a million f bombs, like as if a middle schooler wrote this script. And he's like, this right. is so funny. It's like, dude, you guys don't understand. Like the genre in which you're playing in right now, you would be better suited for like a CW, whatever normie wine mom yeah. show. But instead, we're getting this, and this is what's so frustrating. I'm sure to Henry Cavill as he's on set, he goes, "This, there's so much great material here, and they're shitting on it." And I think that's probably the most frustrating thing. And we see this a lot in comic book movies too, where they take a great concept like Flashpoint, and they're just like, "Let's make it our own," and they just deface this thing, it's destroy like it. The, the statue of David. And just going like, I think I can put my own spin on this. <laughs> yeah, I think he needs a bigger dick because <laughs> like, put a prosthetic on that thing. We're yeah. all thinking it, but it's not a classic anymore. If you do that, no one wants to see him hung like a horse. But it's, it's the same way here. It's the same way here. Just stay true to the concepts if they work. And I think they do. And we are teased. That's the most frustrating part, dude. Again, even though it's not a great show throughout first season one and two, we're teased these kind of cool concepts like the wild hunt. You know, when they get yes. transported to that area for a second, it's kind of like the ring wraiths in a way, you know, from Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. It's like the same kind of vibe. It's like, oh, dude, what are these guys? What's this like crazy ethereal desert looking realm? And then Witcher Blood Origin did kind of shit on that. But pretend like it didn't do that for a second. Yeah. We were still yeah. hype about it. We're going mm -hmm. through season three here just like with this crazy tonal difference that it doesn't match. A tonal shift is not necessarily a bad thing. It happens in movies and TV shows all the time. And it sometimes can be pretty hype or it's like a good distraction for a uh, universe building. But in this situation... Yeah. It's kind of for laughs, but there's like a level of sincerity to it as well, where it's just like, this is 
I think they're trying to be impressive at the same time. Like, this is super cringe. Like, are we supposed to be fans of these musicians? I think part of it, too, is because Jazz Gears, you know, toss a coin to your Witcher from episode or season one, I'm sorry, turned out to be so popular, like, in real life. I'm sure they're trying yeah. to capitalize on that a little bit, too. But it's just like the, like, uh, Agatha whatever from WandaVision, that stupid song that was, like, charting on iTunes for some reason after WandaVision came out. It's the same yeah. kind of thing. Well, I think it's beyond cringe. So it's cringe because, like we said, the execution of it, too, because I think if you put this scene in here and it's such a tonal shift, I still don't like it that it's a tonal shift, but it's actually really funny the way they deliver it. I would still go like cut this, but at least it was executed well. I don't know what yeah, the hell they're right. like. It, could, could you imagine if they came on the ship and it was like a uh, Step Brothers with um, I'm trying to remember his name again, something Scott, uh, you know, I'm talking about the. Ooh. The, in Step Brothers, the movie Step Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will Ferrell's brother. I think it's Will Ferrell's brother. No, it's John C. Riley's brother that is oh, singing like, like acapella, this... The Sweet Child of Mine, right? Right, yes. And it would be funny if one of them was doing it and the leader is like, "This, you suck. You're not holding it. <laughs> right. You're like, what the hell are you doing back there? Like, I told you not to come in at that moment. Like, it would be funny if they were actually great, but then you have this overbearing leader, but instead it's just... Uh, what's the joke here that they're like I, good? Like, yeah, I know. I, I it's like, know. Guys, isn't this funny? This hilarious, he's, perfect he's, pitch, completely, perfectly orchestrated, uh, masterfully mixed soundtrack. You know, the worst part about it, too, is for me personally, is that they make it like West Side Story, where Siri and Geralt's dialogue like, oh, interjects on beat. It's like we're watching an actual musical. It's like, that's so, not. See, this is like what. Watch this. I'm not a fan of the Joker too with Harley Quinn. Like it's coming out soon. I'm not a fan of that. I don't know concept. yet. You don't know. Well, you're but not a fan of the concept, they, they but you might like it. This. I bet Yo, they do better I than this. Uh, see, that's why that, if I'm willing to give something a shot, if you can deliver it well, right? I, yes, I might not yes. be hungry for spaghetti, but you make a great dish of it and I'll eat and go, okay, this is pretty good. I'm not going to eat all of it. This isn't me, but okay, this is actually pretty well. Yeah. Okay. 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 I got a Ziploc bag. I'm taking it with me. But uh, I don't think anyone's taking anything away from season three of The Witcher here. I don't think anything's enjoyable. I had a bet early on. If we enjoyed any part of season three of The Witcher, we would be posting our username, password, our YouTube channel. And so far, I feel pretty confident uh, with only the second half left of The Witcher. And it's coming out, I think, next week. Yeah, next week. We will be covering it ASAP. And you know what? <laughs> See, this is the thing, the thing too. We're not we're not rage tubers. We're really not. Like, look at our other stuff on the channel that we cover in this area. Like, oh, we dude. have some yeah, dude. Love like, House Game of the Thrones, Dragon. House of the Dragons. Oh, so fucking good, dude. And you know, we don't cover Lord of the Rings a whole lot, but that amazing as well. This just particular show is offensive. It's super offensive. And Henry Cavill is clearly offended by it as well. This is why he's quitting. It's this specific scene, I think, that broke the camel's back, but it's everything like this, and the show has no shortage of it. And if you like this kind of content, guys, uh, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and we'll be covering more Witcher, Game of Thrones, House of Dragon, and maybe even some more Lord of the Rings stuff. Who well, knows something. Dude, well, even if people like Wheel of Time, I don't know if you're listening this far in, our uh, analytics say only 30% of you, so you, you, you secret 30%. Shh, shh, quiet, quiet, hey, quiet. if you want Wheel of Time, coverage you want us to watch me and gator flatten our nuts with pain while watching it go ahead comment down below say we want the vice just say that we want the vice we want the vice we'll know what it we'll means know. it's for yeah. our balls <laughs> uh, yeah uh do that and uh uh i don't know maybe you like the video too yeah who cares we don't <laughs>